Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to do a get ready with me today featuring some new products. A lot of it, well, a lot of the face complexion products are what I've been using on the regular. However, I am wearing eye makeup today, which is something out of the ordinary for me. I'm using some new products that were sent to me. In the makeup look, I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer in a limited edition color called Fix. And then I'll also be using eyeshadows from the Bare Minerals new eyeshadow palette called Sensuals. And here are the colors. Really pretty purpley pinky nudes. And if you want to see how I created this eye makeup look or foundation look or whatever, um, then please keep on watching. So as you just saw, I applied my Aveda face and eye cream. I've been really liking it. I'll show you how much is left of the face cream. Hopefully you can tell. Not very much. I've been uh, using exclusively this um, for the past couple of months. Now, I'm not sure that I would recommend the eye cream. Um, I much prefer my Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair, but I would definitely pick up this. It's around the same price because given the ounces her price for the Hope in a Jar by Philosophy and then this is kind of the same price so I do like this because it is I think it's all natural is it either way I really like how it makes my skin feel how it makes my makeup look and it keeps my skin moisturized so that's really good so because I did my self tanner I'm gonna double up my foundations look how little I have of this it's probably down to here now it's the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup 3w1 tawny and the Burberry cashmere in Honey number 32. So I apply a tiny little bit of this, not even a full pump, and I apply more of this product. Okay, and done. Alright, and make a little circle around for some reason, I don't know why. So that's how much foundation I use. Sometimes I use a sponge, a lot of times I use a brush. You know this brush, it's my favorite one. My other one I used for actually self tanning last night. So I feel like this double mixture is more natural looking than just the Burberry one. Because the Burberry one is uh, yellow looking and sure it looks nice on my skin, but mixed with the Estee Lauder Double Wear, it's like match made in heaven. But I will definitely be picking up both of those foundations again when they, um, when they run out. So, let's do a story time, hey? I don't wear my wedding ring anymore because last time I had to, I get it inspected for warranty purposes every six months. Back in December, I brought it in and I didn't get, back, get it back until February. That's the long story short, basically. The, this is the Clay de Peau concealer in beige, a little trial packet because as you know, maybe, a bunch of my makeup fell in the toilet and I'm not about to have toilet water makeup on my face. So I'm using this sample that I got a while ago. Anyway, so as for the wedding band, wedding ring set, they uh, ruined it basically and then they gave me a replacement. Um, I got it back one time and there was a scratch on it, like really indented a scratch. So I was like, okay, fix that please, you did that. So they fixed it, but then they made the band on the wedding ring so thin that if I open the door with the handle, I feel like the ring would just pop off and be gone forever. And then also actually, when I got my wedding engagement ring back, um, the because I put them in for cleaning as well as replating, my wedding band lost a diamond. So that also had to be fixed. And when they fixed that, they indented one of the little tiny diamonds way too much and it just looked horrible and they did a crazy job on it and I was super angry. Um, vented my feelings to them. Now the people at the place who is fixing it and everything was, was giving me wonderful customer service. They gave me, they were supposed to, give me a hundred dollar gift card for my troubles which didn't end up getting shown up. So anyway, got a new wedding band set, wedding engagement ring set. Never wore it 
because I got it in February. I've probably worn it five times. This is my Becca bronzer in bronzed bondi. I'm actually going to use, how about I'm going to use the same brush, yeah. I don't wear it because I don't want the same bloody thing to happen to it again. Uh, so I brought it in for inspection every six months because this is June. <sighs> and apparently now two prongs are missing from my engagement uh, ring band. Not the big diamond, but on the little diamonds because they're so minuscule. And I was like, how did that happen? I've worn it maybe five times. What is it saying about your ring quality, you know? Oh, I was so angry with them. I had a new person helping me. However, she was good. I'm still waiting back on the actual wedding ring to get fixed. Um, I told him not to replay it. I told him not to do anything with the band. Just fix the prong, that's it. Don't do anything to it. Don't polish it. Don't do anything. I'm gonna blend it out with the Dior, Dior Kabuki, I think. Is there any product on it? Okay. So, only time will tell, I guess, what the quality of my ring is, my second ring is gonna be like. It's just, I'm so frustrated at this point. I don't even know what to do anymore. In the grand scheme of things, that is why I do not wear my wedding ring. And that's why I bought a little ring on Etsy that kind of looks like this, but I wear it on my wedding finger. This is the Tarte blush. No, I want to use... Anyway, on to better things. Let's just talk about makeup for now. I could turn this into a rant video actually because USPS has been losing my parcels and why isn't it their fault when they lose parcels? How come it's the seller's fault? Like for instance, if I bought something on eBay, I have to contact the seller, not USPS. Because USPS, I feel like the carriers could just keep my products and they're like, nope, you gotta contact the seller, it's not our problem. Um, I've had that issue like two or three times in the last month. Um, they lost my H&M order and they lost my eBay order. Nothing I can do about it. I did get a refund on both parts, but it was really hectic to get that refund. So I got some new Becca bronzers, I mean blushes. One is a luminous blush and one's a mineral. So one is Snapdragon, crazy bright. And then the other is Flower Child. So I'm going to use Flower Child and a little bit of Snapdragon. Swish, 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 bop. They are quite pigmented as you could just tell. Like I'm going to blend that all together. And I'm actually going to do something different with my eyes today. Um, I never do eyeshadow and I thought I would do eyeshadow today. I got some new products and as you guys know, I, I honestly don't wear eyeshadow ever. I'm wearing these to try them out, um, review them. And then after that, I'm going to give them away to my family and friends because quite honestly, I feel like it would be gone to a better home that way. Um, I do like lip products. I like all makeup. I just don't wear eyeshadow that often and I'm just giving you my honest honest thoughts on that. So first I'm going to do my Anastasia brows with this random kit that I got ages ago and I'm still chucking through it. Bulky packaging, yes, but I do travel with it. Um, in fact, everything that I'm using um, or was using I'm grabbing out of this makeup bag that I am traveling with because I am going back to Canada real soon. So I said, why unpack from all these trips? Just keep it all in here. So I'm going to get up close to do these eyebrows. I got my first PR parcel from Urban Decay and they sent a whole bunch of eyeshadow primer potions. Um, so the parcel looked like that. I'm going to be using the one that's in my hand right here and it's in the color Limited Edition Fix. 
Is it still an eyeshadow primer potion? Yeah. Because some of these are in darker shades and lighter shades. One is in Sin, one's Caffeine, and one is called Free Base. But I'm just going to use one for my skin tone. And this is the first time I've ever used the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So, I'm going to get real close here. I'm going to remove this cellophane from the package. It's the Bare Minerals, Bare Sensuals eyeshadow kit. There's 14 shades in here and they're beautiful shades. Like I would love to keep this, but I know that I would not use it. And I know that my cousins or friends would love it a lot more than me. So anyway, I'm just going to apply the primer potion. I know people use like a tiny bit and like not a lot, so I'm not gonna put a lot on. I use uh, the MAC paint a lot more if I ever wanna even out my eyelid color, because it's quite veiny. Even that was too much. You really don't need a lot. It actually does feel quite like the MAC paint that I use in the, it literally looks like a little paint too. Let us use the brush that came with it as well. It's double ended. I will leave all the information below of how much these palettes cost. I got two of them. The other one is called Bare Naturals, I think. And how about I just show you? It would be way easier if I showed you the colors. So I decided that I'm going to be using Waltz, Hot Spell, maybe Shazam and Fortune, or maybe Lure. So we will see how it comes out. First, I'm going to apply Waltz all over. Waltz is kind of a light lavender color. I think it's really pretty on my eyes. So I'm gonna also apply it in here because I always love color brought into the tear duct area. I'm gonna apply Shazam on top, which is kind of a pink shade which is a very subtle peach shade. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Then I'm going to apply Mystify, kind of on the outer part. And then I'm going to blend it. So it doesn't look kind of gray. Mystify it again. It's harder to do it on the left side than the right side for me, especially the blending part. <laughs> In the crease, I'm going to apply Lure, just to um, sort of blend everything together. And then I'm going to literally blend everything just so there's no harsh lines. I didn't apply anything on my brow bone because I don't want to be extra. I just want to have a simple, natural look. I feel like it's bringing out the blues in my eyes. That's pretty nice. This is the look. I'm gonna apply some liquid liner. I never wear liquid liner, but I'm gonna wear this one. It's Effortless Liquid Liner, Long Lasting Precision Liner, and it's by Burberry, and it looks like a felt tip one. It's black, I swatched it on the back of my hands. This is going to take a lot of uh, concentration, so I will speed this up. curling my lashes and then applying a lip product so hold on second last part of the look I'm gonna apply the it cosmetics superhero mascara in a cool little shape can you see that and this is what the brush looks like look how crazy that makes my lashes okay all right, I'm going to finish off by putting some Hourglass Ambient Dim Lighting Powder all over my face just to set it a little bit. Just 
still my kind of t-zone area just so i don't sweat it off i have been traveling with this i have been squeezing the heck out of it this is the bobby brown art stick liquid lip in honey bear so i'm gonna finish off with that And that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I know I'm pretty sporadic lately. I feel like 2017 has been sporadic with my um, uploads for YouTube. First I do a whole bunch of lip swatch videos and then I upload a whole bunch of vlogs and now upcoming are a whole bunch of makeup videos. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed either way. And if you have any suggestions for YouTube videos for me to film, um, tags or anything, I feel like I'm on a roll this week, so. Let me know in the comments below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and thank you again for watching. Um, see you next time. Bye!